people runaway slave with another quick video. So I want to talk talk uh, about the state of our men, the state of black men um, in the black community right now in America. And one thing I noticed, and it really it really uh, drives me crazy, is one thing I notice about us, the men, is that as soon as you take away our ability to use our physical attributes, to use our brute strength and our athletic ability, we automatically turn into the maggots of society. It's like we're only any good when we can use our physical ability. Black men seem to be only good or winning when we are in a state where we are using our physical ability, when we're running around, jumping, sprinting, knocking heads off, knocking people over. That's when we're winning. But uh, it seems that as soon as that's taken from us, we just turn into some big bubble gumps, weak maggots. And you can see this in, you know, a lot of, you, you can see this on TV a lot. You can see this in some of our celebrities. You can see the Ray Lewis, used to be a monster. Now look what he has turned into. Charles Barkley, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. All these guys were big, strong black guys who used their physical strength at one point. And now they've succumbed to being nothing but bubble gumps and maggots. And I've seen this a lot in life. This is why we go places sometimes. I've seen big, you can see a big, strong black man with no heart. If he can't use his physical ability, if he doesn't have the shackles off of his mind, you'll see a five foot two, 98 pound white man pimping him around and telling him what to do like he's just a nobody. And we see this all the time. These big guys are scared. They can't do anything. They can't speak up for themselves. Um, and this, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is a real bad thing. And this comes from the fact that we don't know anything about ourselves. We don't take the shackles off our minds before we get involved uh, with doing these things. With, with, uh, the, we're, we're so interested in uh, playing sports, which is good. It's good to have that gift to play sports, make money, feed your family, or whatever. Even if that, if it gets you a college scholarship, whatever it does for you. If it benefits you, that's good. But as soon as that's over, all that's gone. And this is when we go on, to, on the back end. This is when people get us back. We become the biggest maggots in society when we cannot use our physical brute strength. This is because we don't have brain power. We do not have the shackles off our minds. And this is what we have to work on with our youth, man, because it's horrible. I've seen this go on for years, man. I've seen it going for years. It's really disgusting. I've seen big black guys try to take the bass out of their voice, voices, suck their shoulders in, do anything they could do to appease white people because they're scared. And this has to stop, man. It, ha it has to stop. It's getting to the point where it's becoming an, a major epidemic, man. It's becoming an epidemic. It's spread out to our celebrities, our people who are on TV. And it's very common. It's very common for the regular, what we say we call average people. It's very common for us. We have to do something to combat this. And the only way to stop this is to take the shackles off our mind, learn about our history, learn who we are, then this will stop. But I'm really getting sick of seeing a bunch of big black men not being able to do anything but play sports, use their physical strength and ability, and as soon as that, that part of life is over, we become maggots, man. I've seen guys, I work with guys, man. It, it, it's a shame. You're talking about former big linebackers, linemen, athletes, and they'll be scared to look a white man in the eye and say, no, you're wrong. They'll be scared to uh, stand up for themselves, scared to speak up. It's amazing. We have to stop this, people. We have to become runaway slaves. We have to work on our minds. This is the only way. This will, this will even maximize the effect of our physical ability, okay? So we got to do better. Stand up. Stop being maggots. Stop being big bubble gumps. Use your brain. Take the shackles off your brain. Read a book. Learn about your history, all right? Take care, y'all. Runaway slave.